two chords AB and CD of a circle whose center is O meet at the point P and angle AOC equals to 50 degrees, angle BOD equals to 40 degrees. Then the value of angle BPD is, right? So taking the circle again, doesn't look like a circle, but we can consider it. Okay. So drawing a All right. Now the center of the circle is O, right? The center is O. Now he says the two chords A and B intersect at point P, right? So let's draw the two chords A and B, right? A and B. So let's say this is chord A, B, and this is chord C, D, right? They intersect at the point P. This is the point of intersection, right? P. Now what else is given to us? Angle AOC is 50 degrees, right? What is angle AOC? This angle, okay, this angle AOC. So if I connect it like this, so now I have a little space, a gap to explain this properly, right? Angle AOC is 50 degrees, angle BOD is 40 degrees, right? What is angle BOD? From this point to the center, right? O is the center, remember, angle BOD is 40 degrees. So this angle is 40 degrees. Okay, then the value of PPD. Now we have to find out the angle BPD. BPD. This angle has to be calculated, right? What is this angle? Is the question here? All right. Now look at this. If I if I join this uh, point C and B, right? If I make a chord here, right? If I join this point C and B, what do you see? Look at angle AOC. Angle AOC. This is fifty degrees. Angle BOD. 40 degrees has given the question. Now, uh, if you look at it, angle AOC, angle AOC here will be twice the angle ABC. Angle AOC, the angle made, see AC is the arc now, right? If you observe AC is the arc, the angle made by, or you can connect A and C also. You can say this is a chord. A and C is a chord, right? So the angle made by the chord at the, center is twice the angle made by the same chord at any point on the circle, any other point of the circle. So we can say angle AOC, angle AOC equals to twice the angle ABC. You getting it? Similarly, angle BOD, look at angle BOD, angle uh, BOD, right? This is actually 40 degrees. Angle BOD is 40 degrees, but this can be taken as uh, twice the angle BCD. See, basically, if you observe this, this, this angle BOD and BCD, this angle, I'm talking about BCD, right? BCD. This can be taken as twice the angle BCD. Are you able to follow? Now, if you observe angle AOC plus angle BOD is equal to, if you take two common, angle ABC plus angle BCD, right? What is AOC? It is given as 50 degrees, BOD 40 degrees. So this is like 50 degrees plus uh, 40 degrees. It's twice the angle ABC plus BCD. Now look at this angle ABC, angle ABC is this, right? And angle BCD, BCD that is taken is this. It's asking us to find out the angle BPD, BPD, this angle BPD, right? If you observe, in this triangle BCP, in this triangle BCP, the sum of all three angles has to be 180. Yes or no? And you observe BPD is like an exterior angle. Angle BPD is like an exterior angle to these two angles. So I can actually replace ABC plus BCD with angle BPD. So by solving this, we get angle BPD equals to 90 by 2, 45 degrees. See, it is it is like I know the diagram looks a little clumsy, but if you draw a perfect circle and try to understand, it is very, very simple. You need not uh, write any step on paper. You get it? And the answer comes out to be option 3, 45 degrees. See, the point is this. We have figured out that sum of angles A, B, C. You look at this angle A, B, C. A, B, C. And B, C, D. B, C, D. The sum of these two angles is half of 50 plus 40, 45 degrees. Right? Now, the point that I'm trying to make here is, 
angle ABC plus angle BCD. The sum of these two angles will be nothing but angle BPD. Right? Consider, consider this triangle. Just look at this part. This is P, this is C, and this is D. Right? And let's let's extend this. This goes up to D, right? If you look at the diagram, I'm just taking one part of the diagram, right? So this is X and this is Y. This angle will be X plus Y. Yes or no? Exterior angle property, right? In a triangle. If D is uh, Y, C is X, that angle P, exterior angle P will be X plus Y. Because, see, total of these will be 180, all these three angles. Yes or no? So this interior angle will be 180 minus of X plus Y. This also can be taken as X plus Y. You are able to follow? Got it? I hope all of you have got this. Option 3, 45 degrees will be the answer. You getting it? Why you have taken X plus Y? I mean, this is a property. This is a standard uh, property. I may not, may not explain in detail. But anyway, if you go by the basics here, uh, we know that P plus B plus C should be 180 degrees. So angle P can be taken as 180 degrees minus of X plus Y. Now the complete angle P is 180. If you see the complete angle P will be 180. So if this is 180 minus of x plus y, this should be x plus y. So that 180 minus x plus y plus x plus y will make it overall 180. You're getting it? So that is the reason exterior angle will be taken as exterior angle P will be equal to x plus y. This is interior angle P. Sum of exterior angle plus interior angle should be 180, right? So we are trying to balance it out. So this is 180 minus of x plus y, this will be x plus y. On adding these two, we get 180. All right. So the answer is 45 degrees.